everybody. What's going on? It's Joy from Be The Difference. So today I would like to talk about grief and how we can possibly cope with it. So uh, the best way to start it off is by talking about my personal situations. Um, I'm not going to get um, too um, deep into anything, but the point of the matter is I know we all struggle and suffer through traumatic experiences and situations and how I've handled some of them um, can be healthy or wasn't healthy, is healthy, whatever you want to call it. But at the end of the day, um, I've learned how to cope with them, um, the situations. And I've also learned different ways that maybe I could share with you where you can cope a little better. Um, just know that um, when something traumatic happens to you, whether it be directly or indirectly, um, it's something that you have to have a process of getting through and going through. So, you know, maybe you will experience shock. Maybe you will experience um, sadness. Uh, maybe you will experience depression. That's all very normal and human. But I would say try not to stay in that situation or that feeling too long because then it becomes who you are. So if you are experiencing any traumatic situations currently in your life, just know that you will get through. Um, know that, you know, everything happens for a reason. Sometimes we can't explain it. It's not up to us oftentimes to understand it, but to get through so that maybe we can be a testament to someone else who's going through the situation. So I'll say death happened to me. Um, it was very traumatic, um, you know, just seeing the death and having to live without this person for so long is just, it's hard, but also I'd say the, the hardest thing was not the hardest thing that I thought would hurt me the most was knowing that I would forget the voice. You think that's crazy, but you do forget. At least I did. I forgot the voice. And that was the, the thing that I had worried about the most. And, you know, um, do I remember the voice now? No, I don't. Um, I have to think of it in my head. But if I were to hear it now, I think that would bring me back to the emotion like that is finalized, that the death already happened and I'm no longer going to see them again. Um, and just having that anticipation and that feeling of maybe hearing the voice again um, makes me feel like I should have never forgotten it, um, that I should have done something better. Maybe I should have looked at the videos more often, but then I would have brought me back into the sadness of losing um, the person. So I'd say quickly um, that, you know, death is very final. So Whoever it is in your life or lives that you feel like you are close to or have some type of um, relationship with, just make sure you're always on good terms if possible. I mean, we all have our little ups and downs with each other, but there's no reason why things can't be resolved so that if something traumatic ever happened where either one of you have passed, that you know, there won't be any residual guilt of not being able to reconcile whatever that situation was. So I'd say for me, death was very hard. It is still very hard topic. Um, I would not want to go to a funeral to this day. Um, I find it too finalizing and too traumatic, but to cope with it, if I did have to go to a funeral, I just sit in the back seat and I stay back there. You know, I, I, I was like, you know, that's my give and take. I'll go to the funeral, but I will not go to see the body. Um, that's just me and how I cope with that. So you may have your own way of coping with it, but you know, that's my little 50, 50 right there. So find your little 50, 50 in whatever situation or traumatic experience that you're having. Um, there's always a flip side to everything. Um, can I say there's always a positive to everything? I'm sure we can find something um, positive in anything. I'm pretty sure, but some things you just have to dig a little deeper about. So all in all, when you're going through grief or a traumatic experience or 
um, loss or anything like that. Just know to try to find a way to cope with it because you may feel this, you know, loss for the rest of your life, but don't let it overtake you. Don't let it overtake your, your everyday life. Um, your dealings with other people, just don't let it go that far. You can grieve, take however long you need to do to grieve about anything. Just take the time, go through the steps, go through the process because then you'll be a better person. You won't allow it to define who you are or will become. Take those steps, those necessary steps and learn how to cope. Talk to people, trusted people that can help you cope cope on your own as well. But whatever you do, just know that grief is something that is okay to go through. It's nothing to be ashamed of, but just don't let it take you there forever. Okay. So that's my inspiration for the week. Hopefully you'll get something out of it.